made you become a chemist, a professional chemist? What actually made you end up doing it as your job? Well, I think from quite a young age as a child, I had assumed I would become a scientist. My father was a physicist, my grandfather was a physicist, so it was assumed I would become a scientist. And so it was really a choice of which subject I should do. I quite enjoyed biology, and I did all sorts of biological experiments when I was, or I suppose more, zoology. I prepared skeletons of animals. I still have a skeleton of a rabbit at home. I bought the rabbit at the butcher. I didn't kill it myself. And um, so, but in the end, I found chemistry more interesting. I thought I was pretty good at it. Um, and I did a, I went to university to, to do chemistry. And at the end of that time, I felt like I wasn't finished studying. I wanted to know some more chemistry. So I ended up doing a PhD and then I ended up doing research in the US and that brought me here to Nottingham. I chose my A-levels towards a career in accountancy and I sort of had a part-time job doing accountancy and it bored me rigid. So I gave up all of my UCA or UCA um, applications to university and I decided to realign myself and, and to do the subject which I really, really enjoyed, which was chemistry. Uh, well, I chose to do a degree in chemistry, um, mainly because I found it the easiest subject that I'd done at A-levels. You do your A-levels, so kind of in high school, um, you do your, your, your chemistry courses and I decided to take chemistry further just because I found it interesting. And I found that I was relatively good at it, which helps, I suppose. I was a pretty terrible student, I have to say in my first couple of years I was enjoying the full student life, uh, not always getting my coursework done on time. Um, but then I did a year in uh, industry in uh, what was at the time Smith Clown Beecham Pharmaceuticals and I was lucky enough to work with a fantastic bunch of people there. We were working on a natural product which is where my interest for that area came along. Uh, it's actually a heartworm uh, based uh, compound for, for collie dogs. Uh, but it really enthused me. I loved working in the lab. I love making stuff. We were making stuff which is going to matter, it's going to help people, help dogs in this case. Um, and it fired me up. I read loads. I did loads of work. And it also taught me that you know, I'm, I'm my own boss. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not an easy person uh, to <laughs> to have un under a manager. And then I thought, well, what do I want to do for my degree? So chemistry was the, 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 the choice, you know, then. And when I started um, my research project as a final year undergraduate, I kind of started to realise how much I enjoyed the research, um, which is probably why, why, why most of us get into academia, is because we really enjoy the academic research. And I decided at that point that I really didn't want to work for a big corporation. I loved the lab work, but I didn't like the whole uh, corporate business. I wanted to be an academic because there you get to do exactly your own ideas, go and have your own personal vision of what research that you'll be doing. And that, that for me, uh, was going to be the career. I'd, I'd love to say there was a grand master plan, but there wasn't. It was a case of, I originally wanted to be a pharmacist. Um, and bluntly speaking, I just wasn't clever enough to do that. I, I, I just, there were a number of circumstances that meant that I couldn't do it. It's just a fascinating subject. You get to understand what's going on at the atomic level. You get to move atoms around and get them to exchange partners in different bonding environments. It's just a really fascinating aspect of chemistry and it underpins everything in modern day society. When I worked in industry, I worked in a, an industry in, involved in chemistry and um, I saw the value, I saw the application of chemistry firsthand, which I probably didn't see in school. And then I kind of just realised how important chemistry was to the society and the economy. And then as I, I just got more interested and looked into it more and more, I realised, wow, it's involved in everything around us. So uh, just kind of caught the, the chemistry bug, I guess. But I still enjoyed doing sciences um, and therefore I kind of... I knew there were certain things I didn't want to do with my degree, 
and I came out and I thought, what am I, what am I good at? What have I enjoyed? And during my PhD, I'd worked with a guy called Graham Jones doing public engagement of science. I loved talking to people. I loved being able to communicate science in a way that was accessible but without being patronising or, or too much dumbing down. And it was just being able to see people say, oh, actually, yeah, science is a really good thing. I, I get it now. Um, I understand what you're talking about and that gave me quite a buzz and I thought this is the kind of career I'd like but at that time you know in the early 2000s it was just an it, there was no job market for that sort of thing and so when this job came up at Nottingham public awareness scientist unique to the UK I thought give it a go uh, and so now this is what I do.